Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Hypedown, and today I'm going to be going over some of my add-ons that I use for my PvP and just my everyday use of my Unholy DK. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say each of my add-ons, and then I'm going to get to explaining them so I can make this uh, nice, short, and sweet for you guys. Um, this add-on right here can be moved. This is called Extra CD. Uh, this just pretty much keeps track of my major cooldowns. Uh, my UI frames that you see here, here, uh, where's my focus target at? And here, this is X Pearl. Okay, X Pearl. Um, add-on that I have for a long time. I love it. Looks beautiful. I'm never going to get rid of this. Next add-on that I have is called Tidy Plates. If you're noticing that my uh, enemies' health bars are looking a little bit different over their heads, this is from Tidy Plates. If you watch any of my other previous videos, again, you'll see how much more colorful they look. Just bring, brings out the brightness in the videos, and I love that add-on. Um, also, if you're peeping out my mini map over here, this is called Carbonite. Uh, Carbonite gives you a nice sexy map. It also comes with a quest helper. Um, it lets you know when enemies are near you. It types it right here in your chat box over here on the bottom left. Very useful. The map itself is very, very sexy. You can just scroll out right here. You can, as you scroll over each zone, it pretty much shows you uh, everything in detail. Zooming in as far as you want. You can even right click and go to like go to and it puts like a nice little navigation thing for you. Very helpful. You can use this in PvP. It shows uh, everything on the map like so let me just put it back here if you zoom it out like I'm doing right here you can see like let's say for instance we're playing Arathi's Basin you can see each base your team has you can see your teammates a lot better it saves time it saves you from doing this maneuver every now and then when you're trying to see where your team's at or what bases that you own Carbonite is a very useful add-on I recommend it you don't need it but it just makes life easier when it comes to the map and also has a flag icon so you can keep track of where the flag's going and capture the flag uh, moving along uh, do, 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 do. Another highly recommended add-on that every DK should have is called Necrotic, Necrotic Tracker. Necrotic Tracker. I'm going to show you what that is. I have to pretty much hit the, uh, the dummy doll so you can see it. Also, uh, while we're doing this, just to make this go by a little bit faster, notice on the right here, you see the text that are going on right here on the right. That's called Mike. Mike's text scrolling, okay? Pretty, you don't really need it again, but in my videos, when somebody sees, oh my god, 50k, what the fuck just hit for that much? You can just look right over here, it'll tell you, everything has its own color, you can see the symbols next to it, and uh, again, just something else to make my videos look better. I love it, and uh, if you guys wish to have it, try it out. Um, oh, an acrotic strike. So, every time I hit somebody with an acrotic strike, you will see this. Pretty much right now, what you're looking at, that big number that you see is letting you know in order for this guy right here that I just cracked in about, what, <laughs> a few seconds? In order for him to get a heal, he's going to have to heal for 1,800,000. No exaggeration. Oh, make that 2 million. So, this is very great for you to keep track of your necrotics. As that blood right there runs out, it lets you know when they're going to drop, which they just did. Very useful add-on for you to keep track of what's going on. Uh, like I said, the blood uh, lets you know when it's going to run out. You see it running right there. Okay, when that gets to the end, your stacks are going to drop. Pretty much it goes along with that. Moving along, next add-on that I use is called Shao Kahn. This is a fun add-on. Uh, if, if you just take a listen and hear out hear my death coils, hear that? That's pretty much a soul extraction noise from Mortal Kombat. When I click on people, switch targets, you hear this noise. This is actually the noise it makes when you're selecting characters in the main menu screen. Uh, but the most useful part about this add-on... Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. And if I was able to death grip this uh, dummy doll right here, I'd let you hear it say, get over here in uh, Scorpion's voice. It automatically does that. DKs only get the cool stuff. But you guys can hear your guy say fight, like this right here. See, he'll say fight. When you uh, kill somebody, it'll give you like a flawless victory, pat on the back, or well done, like you just heard. Um, it also, when you're going to kill them, or like when you're about to kill them, it says finish him. That lets you know that he's like below 35% health. Uh, and when you're below 35% health, let's see here, uh, guys. Let me just, nah, fuck that. Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Hold on, I'm scared. Alright, let's go, Blood Breath. Alright, let's go. Uh, awesome. Oh. I didn't get low enough. It does it at 30%. Which you can change it, but you can't. You will die, mortal. Okay, so when you get below 30% health, he just keeps on talking shit. Prepare to die, you will die, mortal. This will pretty much go on until you get above 30% health. Yes, you, I, your screen does you get red along die, the edges. Mortal. I'm not sure if that's everybody or just because of my X-Pearl thing that I got oh. here, but... Um, 
just being able to hear yourself getting below 30% you health is kind of useful. Mortal. Gives me the opportunity to like pop AMS or ask my healer, oh, do I need to do anything? Do I need to pop ice my 42s? You know what I'm saying? Like it gives me that little. You will die. Say like just hearing that, it just helps you out. Any little thing helps you out when you're PvP and time is everything. Um, so again, that one's called Shao Kahn. Prepare All right. to die. Shut up, Shao Kahn. Uh, if you just notice my holy frenzy and everything coming back here, I'll uh. Let's see, let me hit some things here. Uh, pay attention to this part of my screen. You will see a icon come up. This is called DCP, Doom Cooldown Proc. Uh, it's something, again, for show, but it also helps me out to let me know when I have things back. I don't really care to see that I have a Scorch Strike back, but it does, that just signifies, okay, I use an Unholy Rune to use a Scorch Strike, so okay, when that pops up, that means I got an Unholy Rune back. So... It lets me know when I have. It lets me know when I have like my runes back up. But I'm always constantly looking at my sexy ass rune display, which I'm going to go over with you in a second. But uh, DCP is very cool to have. I most I mainly utilize that for my gargoyle and holy frenzy blood fury, my engineering buff and my uh, victory badge. Okay, it 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 pretty much pops up. Lets me know when all this comes back. I I love it. And and again, it just makes my videos look that much cooler. Um, this right here, this isn't regulation runes. This is actually called Yuri's Rune Display. You can pull and move this anywhere you like. I pretty much would like it up here because I'm Drink always it. used to just looking Eyes up top down. anyway. Um, you can change its shape. You Let's can change its size, the shapes. You can I mean, what I mean by shape, you can make it a smiley face, a frown face, whatever you want to make it. Um, and you can actually put numbers here, but I just like it cooling down the regular way. I don't really care too much to see the time on when they're going to come back. I just want to see them coming back. Uh, very useful. It beats the hell out of, you know, x pearls runes. It beats the hell out of uh, your regulation runes on your regular UI. I highly recommend get that. Uh, I want to carbonite. Okay, two add-ons that I'm not probably going to be able to go over with you. I mean, go over with, with you is uh, Gladiator Losa and Gladius. Uh, Gladius is pretty much a frame that pops up here when you're doing arenas. It lets you see who you're fighting. It also lets you see their trinkets, if it's up or how when it's going to come back up. And it also allows you to see what the DRs are. So if you asphyxiated him, it's going to let you know when you can stun him for another full duration. You know what I'm saying? It's going to let you know, okay, if you stun him again, it's not going to be as long because you just got to asphyxiate him. So it keeps your tracks of your DRs. Very useful to have. Gladius, I highly recommend you guys get that. Also, Gladiator Losa is pretty much a female voice that is telling you when a lot of major cooldowns are being popped. Uh, offensive and defensive. Offensive meaning like Blade Storm, Unholy Frenzy, Gargoyle, Deep Freeze, you know, etc. So defensive wise, it'll tell you Icebound Fortitude, AMS, Shield Wall, Ice Blocks, you know what I'm saying, Cyclones, you name it, etc. Fixiate. It tells you. It, it really does help. I mean, me personally, I only play a Death Knight and just. Being able to hear these things being popped with my Gladiator uh, Losa, it gives me the opportunity to learn what these things are doing to me or what's happening at the time when she says that. Um, sometimes people make mistakes and misclick spells or, or they'll click it as they approach you. You can just run away. If somebody pops like a burst, there's no re need for you to be out there taking that damage and stretching out your healer. Just run behind a pillar at that time and he's going to be pissed off and you're going to be, ha ha, how did, how did I know? Because my bitch told me. Alright, um... I use Auctioneer, I mean, that's, I don't really care to explain what that does. Auctioneer is, you know, just Auction House uh, add-on. Uh, oh, another add-on that I'm not going to be able to explain to you, but, again, if you care enough to look at my previous videos, pay attention to this side of my screen. There's an add-on called Afflicted, and what Afflicted is, it, it, it keeps track of um, offensive, defensive uh, abilities, and it puts the duration of when they're going to receive them again so for instance let's say i use a fixiate a fixiate is going to come over here and it's going to let me know okay it's going to be back in 30 seconds let's say i use shield wall it's going to come over here under the defensive tab and it's going to say okay he has one minute left and it's coming back up etc uh, blade storms you name it it lets you know when they you'll see if they still got things on cooldown highly highly useful for uh uh, hunters and mages so you can see if they still have ice blocks or deterrences. Highly useful for a paladin to keep track of when his divine shield comes back. Highly useful overall. Afflicted. Get it. And again, if you want to see how it works, just uh, click on some of my uh, dueling videos and I guarantee you you'll see it like in this area if you ever wondered what that was. Okay. Uh, moving back to this, I don't want to waste too much time you know, explaining this, but uh, I'm sorry, but I do not have the spell IDs for this add-on. Uh, this add-on comes with a lot of uh, spells in it already, like the, like the trinket, and I think Unholy Strength, uh, a few things. 
but it does not have Gargoyle on Holy Frenzy and a few others. I, I don't think it, it might have the, this one, but anyway, you're going to have to manually put these in, but it automatically puts this in and that in. If that's all you care about, get the add-on. It's very useful. Again, you can make this as big as you want, as small as you want, and move it wherever you like. Um, again, and it glows, and another reason why I highly recommend this add-on is because if you don't have this at all, little did you know, your proc trinket has its own cooldown, 30 seconds, and if you don't have this add-on, you will not know when you're going to have this back. Okay, we all see how long we have it for, but once that's gone, you know what I'm saying, how are you going to know when you're going to have it back? You know what I'm saying? I love this add-on because when I see it that it's on cooldown, I'm pretty much just trying to play preservative. Um, I'm trying to get blood taps uh, added up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, okay, okay. I got 20. I got 24 seconds. Okay, I got four death runes. Okay, shit. I only have four things. So let me just waste my unholy runes. Well, they just drop. But you get the picture. In 13 seconds, I'm trying to get 12 blood taps. So now when I don't, well, now when this is you know ready to be eligible to proc again, I go back in death grip, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. When it procs, I dump all four of these necrotics. Then I use my 12 blood taps to get two extra necrotics. That's how I gain my pressure in the arena. I mean, why not just go defensive for 30 seconds or play a little bit more safer for 30 seconds because you're going to need this to secure kills. The more strength we have, the better. And the more strength that we have, the more we can parry. Very useful. Get to add on and like it. Uh, actually, let me go to my interface add-ons to make sure I went over everything for you. I went over your room display. I went over tidy plates with you guys. Uh, recount. You don't really need recount. But it's very cool to have if somebody's trying to brag about damage. It's very cool to have to test your damage on a dummy doll. Very cool to have if you want to keep track to see who's... You can keep track of what's going on with your whole party. Who's CCing? Who's countering? How many, you know, did he throw... How many Cyclones? How many, how many buttons did he tap? You know, you'll, you'll see everything with Recount. Very cool add-on. Uh, I can actually show you that in a second. And we went over Necrotic Track. We went over Mic Tech Scrolling. We went over Gladiator Losa, Extra CD. Atlas Loot is just letting me know what bosses drop what loot. Don't need that at all. These are the only add-ons that I use for PvP. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Just one more. Just one more. There's another one called PvP Sound. If you've ever seen me playing uh, RBGs um, or regular BGs, period, there's going to be another voice that pretty much commentates. So... You know, flag taken, blue, fl wait, blue flag taken, blue flag dropped, the sector for the red. It's going to let you know when a base is under attack. It's going to let you know um, when somebody captures a flag, when somebody drops a flag. It's going to let you know when the orb is dropped. It's going to let you know when the orb is taken, etc. It also helps you get into the game. Um, I'm a big Halo 2 fan. Um, and in Halo 2, when you get two kills, or League of Legends fans, if you get two kills, double kill, triple kill, quadruple kill, like, it gives you that. It's like an Unreal Tournament type voice. If you ever played Unreal Tournament, that's what the uh, voice actually sounds like. It's not annoying. If anything, it just gets me more into the fucking game to kill shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then if you're on, like, on, you're on, like a killing spree, it lets you know that you're on a killing spree, like, dominating. Like, it, like, it, it makes you feel like you fucking shit up. Like, I don't know about you guys, any little thing gets me hyped up like even from like my death coil noise to like uh my crit noises from a uh, shao khan like I, I love sound effects you know what i'm saying i can't play my game with no volume i just can't <laughs> i'm a sound effect whore all right so pvp sound you can't see you weren't able to see that on my interfaces because it's built in all right again just take a look at the sexy ass map you don't got to click and get auto zoomed in you zoom in at will you can see every single place on the map full detail it's man this map is fucking sexy man all right that's carbonite once again uh oh again if you guys have any add-ons that you have not seen please feel free to um recommend them on my uh on this you know video uh i want you guys to help each other out as well um you know, I'm not really the best DK, but I'm not the worst DK. Uh, right now, I'm pretty much trying to find a team. It's very hard because I just came back uh, to the game. I don't have other pros to play with like everybody else, but, you know, I'm working on it. You know, I'm not. It's, my my uh, ratings aren't too bad. So I know what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you guys can take something from my videos, and I'm glad that you guys are taking something from my videos. Um, but it, like I said, if you guys have anything to recommend to me as well as everybody else, fucking share it. You know what I'm saying? You, your comments won't be deleted. Uh, I want everybody to pitch in and try to help each other out because that's what you know what i'm saying this game's all about and us dk's have to stick together i mean come on now we got our own fucking zone dude you know what i'm saying these are all death knights here nobody else allowed anybody else comes in here we fuck them up this is home of the death knights you know what i'm saying and uh yeah man help each other out that's the more of this video besides me letting you guys know that uh all right let me shut the fuck up all right guys this was the add-on tutorial 
uh, and I just hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys found something useful. And uh, if I wind up finding something else that I like myself, uh, definitely share it. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, dark, there's a Dark Simulacrum uh, add-on too. It goes here. Dark Simulacrum. Type it just like that in Curse. Uh, pretty much when I steal a spell, it goes right here underneath my feet. Okay? That's Now, I promise you, <laughs> that's all the add-ons that I have. Okay? This is Hype Down, and I am out. <laughs> Alright guys, peace. <laughs>